with forward pay from Appalachian Wireless, you'll avoid contracts and credit checks while taking advantage of some awesome perks, like unlimited talk, text, and three gigs of data for just $44.99, or with five gigs for a mere $59.99. Forward pay. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Debbie Hogg worked as a nurse for 37 years. For more than two decades of that time, she was a nursing program instructor serving many years at Hazard Community College. She died Monday after an eight-year battle with cancer. The sting of her death is still fresh for those who knew her, but she's being remembered for her warm smile, her caring and compassion, and the pride she took in the success of her nursing students. Debbie's legacy is the what she had accomplished with her teaching career. Uh, she helped, I mean, countless, students, hundreds of students. And I was just reading some things online, an online tribute from her students and talking about you're not just my teacher, but you were my mentor and my friend. She was more than just a teacher. She was like a, like a coach. You know, she pushed you. Um, she believed in you. And when you was down and out and you didn't think you could do it, she was behind you telling that you was going to do it. Since her death, many of Hogg's former students have left notes in her memory online. Fun, giving, sincere, those were some ways one former student described Debbie Hogg. Debbie the person was the person that everybody should strive to be. Hogg was more than a teacher for many of her students. I, I'm glad I got to, to meet her and, and for her to be a part of my life. And I think uh, the big majority of the nurses are in this area and just southeastern Kentucky, is, we've all been touched by Debbie Hogg. And she was brave in the face of a cancer diagnosis. She told me, she said, I think you're more upset about this than I am. She said, it's going to be good. She said, we got prayers, we got friends, we've got the best physicians that were available and the best treatments that were available for her. And that got her through. According to her obituary, Debbie Hogg was active in her community. As a result of her help with fundraising, she had a labor and delivery room at Whitesburg ARH Hospital named in her honor. Debbie Hogg will be laid to rest Wednesday. She was 62. Reporting for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.